We are here to continue discussing the narratives recorded in Mr. Lee's book, 100 Reincarnation Cases in Pyongyang. Uh, before we continue, we are going to talk about the afterlife accounts of the people Mr. Lee interviewed. So, Mr. Lee, as you were interviewing the people from these cases of reincarnation, what did they say about, like, what happens when the spirit separates from the body? What do they see? Uh, well, uh, yes, I interviewed uh, more than 100 people who claimed they have previous uh, memories. I think uh, uh, because all these people uh, live in China, I think uh, it should be very different about the afterlife in different cultures, like uh, in United States or in European countries, in East Asian countries, in India or in Africa. Uh, because uh, the afterlife, the reason why we call it afterlife, because it's an afterlife uh, after your current life. So there must be a relation, a strong relation uh, between your current life and your afterlife. So the phenomenon we encountered in uh, China uh, could be very different from uh, the people's narratives like uh, near-death experience, okay, the uh, research in the United States because uh, of uh, religion reasons or uh, society, the difference of society and uh, uh, many different, uh, many other factors. But uh, I believe uh, the similarity is much, much bigger than the difference. Because daily life, everybody, no matter, no matter uh, where you live, daily life, uh, after life, the daily life of after life could be uh, similar. Okay, about your question, uh, usually when these people uh, were dying, okay, some of them, about 30% of them, will uh, see there are some uh, uh, underworld enforcers uh, beside them. What do you mean when you say enforcer? What is it? Well, enforcers, uh, uh, underworld enforcers are uh, something like uh, underworld policemen, oh. uh, or we can call them uh, execution squad uh, from the uh, underworld administration. Usually in China, it's called uh, Yama. Mm -hmm. uh, Yama is, uh, uh, we call it, uh, also we call it uh, Death King. He's the uh, king in the uh, underworld. Uh, this Yama, the idea of Yama is originally from uh, India, in fact. Mm -hmm. There's no uh, Yama idea until the Buddhism uh, spread to uh, China uh, in the 5th century. So, and the history. so when these spirits separate from the body, they see the enforcers who report to Yama. Well, I think uh, it's uh, far more uh, complicated than you think, okay. The Yama, you already, the Yama is, uh, is in charge of a person's death. Okay. So, uh, uh, according to the, uh, their accounts uh, in the book, uh, also I interviewed uh, two Yama's enforcers. Well, it's part-time job. There are two people I interviewed, they claimed, they told me they are Yama's enforcers. When they go to sleep, when they are uh, when they are sleeping, their spirits sometimes will be summoned by the yama to arrest somebody. Uh, well, why? What uh, exact reason the the yama will send the enforcers to arrest somebody? Well, according to uh, the accounts and the narratives of the related people, when the yama has a book called Life and Death. So, uh, I think uh, so. A person, everybody's uh, lifespan is set before the person is born. So, the yama, when the time is up, the yama will send enforcers to arrest you, arrest your spirit, of course. No matter you are 
no matter what condition, what、uh, health condition you are in, some some of the kids in my book they are very healthy, nothing special wrong. They are very healthy, no disease.、Uh, they are young sometimes, but the time is up. So the enforcer, underworld enforcers will come. They will sometimes will、uh, have uh, uh, some hammers, okay, to hit your head. So. Your spirit will、uh, detached from your body. In another word, you will die suddenly. Then the enforcers will、uh, arrest your spirit. They will take your spirit to Yama's、uh, court to judge you. So,、uh, but uh, only uh, only part of the、uh, subjects experienced enforcers. So、the rest, they see nothing. They 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 just, uh, their spirit just、uh, left their uh body. So they have to wander in the uh, village, or uh, they have no place to go. So it's、uh, different.、Mm-hmm. I see, and so, can you describe the daily life of a spirit? Uh, daily life. Well, when we talk about the daily life, we we have to talk about、uh, what、uh, will they go after death,、mm-hmm. uh, according to their accounts. On this book, there are three different、uh, places that the spirits will go.、Mm-hmm. Uh, like in West World, we know there there's a place called Heaven,、mm-hmm. and there also a place called Hell. But、uh, highway, I、uh, interviewed like one、uh, hundred people. Nobody told me they have been to the highway.、Uh, I think、uh, some of them do not have the idea of highway. What highway is actually like? They don't know. Uh, uh, but、uh, I've discovered a new place.、Uh, it's called.、Uh, It's very simple. So there are three places、uh, according to my book.、Uh, one place is uh, the uh, afterworld. It's uh, it's uh, exactly the same place we、uh, shared with the、uh, human beings. So the spirits can live、uh, our home, okay, our house, our park, our street, our city, our neighbor, our village. So all the the related forest. So. The spirit. This is called. We call it. I call it、uh, underworld. So this is a, a general underworld,、mm-hmm. the same place as us. Okay. So here's the place. Then the second place is called. Uh, uh, in local language, if we directly translate, it's called Swan Gush Village. Swan Gush Village. It's a place very similar with the、uh, Eden described in the Bible.、Mm-hmm. So this is a very warm,、uh, happy, and bright、uh, place. It's not, it's not a、uh, one village. It's about one hundred villages. It's it's big, and a lot. Uh, there are lots of spirits live there happily. So everybody is beautiful. Uh, every man, every woman、uh, are beautiful. Maybe they are. They were not beautiful before their death. But、uh, according to uh, the narratives of uh, some uh, uh, some people in this book, a spirit can、uh, change their appearance after death. For example, if you are not satisfied with your appearance, for example, you are、uh, very obese. Okay. Not good looking, or have uh, some uh, big s- uh, scars on your face. Don't worry, when you died, okay, you can transform your appearance. You can transform from a very old uh, uh, look to a very young look. So, in this uh, uh, happy uh, place, happy park,、uh, everybody is beautiful, and there's a lot of dance, a lot of、uh, parties. So. Uh, life is、uh, so beautiful that nobody 
wants to reincarnate. So the administrator is there. Sometimes it's also Yama. Yama is not only the administrator of the hell, but also the happy garden. The Yama will kick some spirits out of the the garden to reincarnate. Oh, wow. So this is the place. There's a third place called hell. There's hell. Uh, well, but uh, no of them entered hell, but they witnessed uh, when they uh, bring when the enforcers uh, brought uh, them to the judge or to the Yama, they saw somebody uh, falling into the hell. So the hell is uh, exists in the afterworld. So uh, generally speaking, there are three places uh, when those people uh, died. So, the most, uh, the happiest place is the uh, Swagos village, mm -hmm. uh, similar like Eden. The second one is uh, uh, Underworld. Okay, Underworld, I think in the Underworld, the life is, uh, uh, is not uh, uh, beautiful. I think the life uh, would, ra would rather to say uh, miserable because uh, First, in that world, uh, yeah, they lack everything. Resources are very limited. Uh, they are very hungry. Somebody have no food to eat for a long time. They are, they are, uh, there's a case in the book. He told me he was uh, killed in the anti-Japanese war. So his uh, spirit uh, had to wander in the underworld for about 10 years. Sometimes he was too uh, hungry. He had to uh, eat the grass on the road. And I ask, asked him, well, you spirits are invisible to human beings. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you like uh, to be a burglar, like break into a uh, human being's uh, family to steal some food to eat? Because nobody can see you. He told me, no, the life in the underworld is not like this. We are, uh, we are spirits, but we, we don't want to, uh, we are good people when we are live. Still, in the outer world, we don't want to be a thief or burglar, even we are spirits. Besides, there's, uh, there are guards. The, in the family, like in, in, in local culture, okay, uh, there are guards. It's called a uh, family uh, guardian. The family guardian is a kind of a spirit, or we can call it a family god. So the family god or family uh, uh, Guardian will protect the the family, so the wandering spirits cannot break into their homes. Mm -hmm. Of course, they, they have food, but you cannot uh, you cannot enter their uh, you cannot break into their families. So the life is uh, is miserable. Most of them think of them, uh, and uh, not only uh, physically but also uh, psych psychological. <coughs> Because the, the, uh, they can hear human beings as they live. So the, we cannot see spirits, yes? But the spirits can see your relatives uh, in the world, your friends, your spouse, everything. You can see and hear them, but you cannot contact or uh, uh, join their life. So, you can you can think okay you, how how will you think you are in uh, the anxiety is very high so everybody uh, are eager to find a family to reincarnate but uh, uh, spirits uh, there are too many spirits in the underworld uh, the pregnant women are limited <laughs> so so uh, uh, being pregnant yeah, is a great thing not only to your family but also. Uh, when you are pregnant, you uh, create an uh, opportunity for the uh, lonely uh, spirit. <laughs>
Okay. okay. So that's what they're looking for when they're wandering. They're looking for a family. Yes, yes. Okay. And I also asked the uh, spirit. No, no, no. I'm not asked the uh, 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 case. Uh, because they live in a village. Usually, the spirits will live in a village. They, they, can, they are uh, wandering in a specific place. Uh, in another world, there's a very strict administration in the other world. It's not completely free. You can do some activities in a limited area. You can't, like, if you, uh, usually, you have to live in your uh, previous village. Okay, so uh, they will, uh, there will be uh, like a head spirit, the head spirit will, will administer, administer you, okay, uh, so uh, the freedom is limited. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, it's like a society, like in our society, of course you are free, you are a free person, but your freedom is limited. Everybody's freedom is limited. There's an um, administration, there's a place, okay, you know? So, uh, they, about their life, uh, I asked uh, one of them, hey, you guys, you have to, uh, since uh, most of you have to live in the uh, tomb field, in the tomb village for quite a long time, uh, have you heard anybody uh, like, uh, fell in love with somebody, could you guys can uh, have uh, spirit children <laughs> or something like that? Mm -hmm. uh, because I'm uh, curious. Yeah. Because if it's a society, I think uh, reproduction is, is normal. But, and, uh, and what did they say? Well, he, uh, he was uh, breathing into a big laugh and uh, told me, no, no. Our spirits do not think about that stuff, <laughs> okay? We don't want to live in the uh, underworld, okay, too long time. And uh, there's a rumor in the underworld, there's a rumor. The rumor is if you cannot reincarnate as soon as possible, you will die. So we, we human beings uh, worry about the death, okay? The same to the spirits. The spirits also uh, are uh, afraid of uh, death. So, the, the every spirits are eager to find the opportunity to reincarnate. They will to they want to return to our world. Mm -hmm. They do not want to uh, wander in the underworld because. Of course, they are strain, they are pressure in our life. Our life is not uh, perfect, but the underworld, I think it's basically, generally speaking, it's miserable. Mm -hmm. yeah. So can you, can we go back to, you mentioned an administration yeah. in a society. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about what, I guess it would be like a government, right? Uh, well, yes. Mm. Uh, According to their account, uh, there's there's an administration because in the it's a society. There are uh, families. Okay, usually when you died, you can live with your uh, with your families. Of course, they are all spirits, and also there are shops. There are shops, so there must be some business activity in the outer world. So there must be administration. Administration, for example, because there are there are some some bad uh, spirits. For example, there's a uh, yeah, Kish, uh, a subject told me that there are some spirits like young spirits. Uh, they didn't have money because they died of uh, uh, accidents, and they didn't have uh, offspring, so nobody bring money or send food to them. So they have to be. Uh, burglars or uh, thieves, they will break into others, like kill chicken, kill chicken and uh, uh, eat the spirit of the chicken. So, to our world, we will find, oh, what's wrong with our chicken? So many chicken died without any hurt. 
So we don't know the reason why some uh, stocks or animals died uh, without any apparent reason. So there's a, uh, the, the administration in the underworld, they will arrest, maybe arrest such uh, criminals, <laughs> spirit criminals. So administration, in fact, there's not uh, many uh, affairs to administer in the outer world because uh, according to my calculation, uh, usually the spirits will have to wait in the outer world uh, 666 days on the average. So it's a short time. Mm -hmm. The shortest is uh, only one hour, the longest is 42 years, but the average is le less than two years. So they only uh, stay in the underworld for two years. So there's nothing significant can to, to admit because there is a very limited, uh, like there's no factory already, there's uh, like uh, uh, no marriage, uh, like there's no divorce uh, case, you know. So very limited things. Of course, there's a administration like the highest. I think the highest uh, administrator in the underworld is Yama. Mm -hmm. Then there's a, a county. Uh, there's a, a, a county mayor. Okay, the county mayor will administer. Uh, will manage the the, the whole county. Then there's a, a local god according to their accounts, the local guard. A local guard will manage uh, one village, maybe one village. So in the tomb field, there would be a spirit head. So the spirit head will, will manage uh, those, uh, those tombs to connect his. Tombs, okay, two human beings, only uh, a corpse is there buried, but to the Underworld, a tomb is a family. Sometimes there, there are more than one spirits living in the tomb. So a tomb is a, uh, is a family or a house in the underworld. Okay, very nice. And so in, in many cultures, there are holidays where um, people in our world will go to the tomb to pay respects to their ancestors. Yeah. Did any of the people that you interviewed, did they have anything to say about those holidays or the traditions and the impact on them? Uh, well, I think uh, uh, according to their accounts, there's only one uh, holiday okay. uh, in the underworld. It's called uh, Tomb uh, Sweeping Day. So in East Iran cultures, on that special day, it's usually in spring, uh, the sweeping like you sweep uh, yes clean yes yeah, oh, sweep the, the tomb mm -hmm. because if you don't sweep the tomb I think you cannot find the tomb because the tomb you already in the forest mm -hmm. so uh, sweeping the tomb means it doesn't mean it's, it's nothing about clean the uh, the tomb stewing it's about because for example your, your tomb is in the in the forest so the the weed a uh, tree or uh, bushes will grow, okay? You cannot uh, visit there uh, frequently, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. If you don't uh, sweep uh, your, the tomb after a few years, the tomb will be will, uh, among the forest you can't find, you know? So all this, but uh, this is not the significance of a uh, sweeping tomb because uh, the biggest thing, the main thing to sweep the tomb is uh, you will, uh, uh, your family, your offsprings will uh, show your respect and amazing for your beloved ones. Mm -hmm. So uh, the offsprings will bring uh, people money and uh, uh, delicious food your beloved ones loved. For example, for fruits like apples, bananas, and uh, uh, like uh, some other uh, bread or noodles, Chinese food, uh, and uh, uh, like fish, uh, pork, beef, or uh, sometimes uh, if your ancestors love uh, uh, alcoholic, I think you will bring some uh, 
uh, some uh, liquors uh, like uh, wine or uh, beer. But uh, I want to specify about the paper money. Mm-hmm. Well, the food is easy to understand. When you bring those food uh, to your ancestors' tomb, uh, usually your uh, ancestors' spirits will come out, will come out of the tomb and enjoy the food. Okay, mm-hmm. they will enjoy the, the 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 spirit of the food. They can take the food back to their tomb inside and enjoy for the following days. Mm-hmm. About the money, okay, it's uh, paper money is uh, similar like uh, the, the the notes we used mm-hmm. in our society, but when you bring this uh, printed paper money, uh, when you bring uh, down, so. Uh, to the uh, spirit's eyes, the ash, there would be a uh, paper money uh, in the underworld appear among the... Uh, burn is called. So when you, when you burn the money, it, it's like it transfers yeah, yeah. the money to the spirit. So yeah, yeah the ash, okay, the ash will, will uh, transform to underworld paper money. And uh, so your ancestors can receive the money. They will pick up the money from the ash, mm-hmm. okay? And then they can use the money to buy some uh, essential things like uh, food, clothes, uh, uh, daily uh, stuff in the, uh, in, in the spiritual shop. So there are usually, there are some uh, shops Ordinary shops like clothes shops, food shops, okay, uh, around the tomb field. Okay. So, so this is uh, the big. Uh, I think this is the uh, the biggest day because uh, uh, to some uh, spirits they can enjoy their uh, offspring uh, offerings, but for others, okay. They can rope, okay, because uh, they can. Uh, it's everywhere. It's a special day on the mountains, among the tombs. There are a lot of huge of food, so they can eat whatever they like. So this is a, this is a biggest day to the spirits okay. in in the local culture. Okay, and so the money they receive and the food they receive, it yeah. it helps them survive this underworld before they find their next family? Uh, well, uh, I think... Uh, or it makes uh, it a spirit, comfortable. Yeah, 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 comfortable. I think a spirit can survive without eating even for a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, this, is a, this is a special day, I think. Okay. A big treat for them. Excellent. Mm. And so when the spirits are ready to find their next family, how do they... How does a spirit choose its future family? What is that process like for them? Uh, well, uh, this is complicated because uh, uh, about only 20%, 20% of the uh, subjects told me, okay, they are uh, arranged. Their future family is arranged by the underworld administrators. So. Uh, the administrators in the after world will arrange some specific uh, uh, <clears throat> spirits to reincarnate, to reincarnate in a specific family. Okay. These, these spirits have no right to choose by themselves. Mm-hmm. But there must be a reason. It's not random. It's not random. Okay? Uh, there must be reason. But uh, the reason is difficult to explain. Uh, the rest... There are other uh, cases, they told me, okay, they have 100% freedom to choose by themselves. So they will wander around the village to see if there's a proper family. So proper family, of course, number one reason, if there's a pregnant woman, Mm -hmm. okay? Because if there is no pregnant woman, who knows how long you should wait if you enter the family. So second, you have to check the availability. Sometimes the pregnant woman is uh, 
occupied by another spirit. Mm -hmm. There's a spirit there, is a spirit there, mm -hmm. 